a little bit nervier than we wanted it to be, but uh, got there in the end. Just some of how you saw that one. Oh, it was awesome at the start. Started really well, but then come towards the end, dodgy, I think. But just a bit got free over the line, I suppose. But need to be better there at the back. Yeah, I mean, we had a lot of chances. You know, Wednesday fans went full voice, of course, you know, which considering they're at the bottom and obviously they let go of this guy, uh, so I had to wear this scarf. Um, yeah, I mean, we had our chances. We should have killed the game by half time. Uh, their keeper kept a minute. <laughs> their keeper kept a minute, so yeah. Um, credit to Sheffield Wednesday for actually keeping the score down. Yeah, just in terms of sort of positives, you know, the goal from John Swift, that's five goals this season from him. Seems like a little bit of a, a different player this season almost. Yeah, he's playing really well. To be fair, I think he started off really well, scoring goals, so it's good. Yeah. I thought it'd be a better performance, for, you know, today, but couldn't do a bit of that. This is John Swift. Goal tonight. Talk to me about John Swift. His goal, his goal was amazing, as, I, as, as I've seen in everything. And um, yeah, he's really coming out in his own now, uh, in his own elements. You know, as you said, um, really good. And we need that considering we have you no know, recognised striker. Uh, we need a prudent goal scorer. And I think you know, with Corbrand's uh, guidance and training. Um, he's proven to be that proven goal scorer. So yeah, I'm happy he's gone on the score sheet again and it was a brilliant goal, you know, oh, top, you top corner. So, yeah. In terms of the back line as well, you know, leaking goals at the start of the season, but back-to-back -back clean sheets, it's uh, a massive it's really positive. Good, yeah, the clean sheets are really good, I think. You know, you've got to keep that up, keeping keep that forward and obviously you've got Blues on Friday night now, so and obviously last season they did double over us, so hopefully they can get one back on this year. Absolutely vital. I mean, you know, we've started to convert those draws that we kept getting uh, against Bristol City and Millwall and the like. Um, we've started converting them into wins now. And, you know, the Preston game, we was in dreamland, you know, beating the team in third 4-0. Uh, and, you know, this win, although a little bit more tense than Preston, which is surprising, I would have thought it would be the other way around, is uh, is really welcome at the Hawthorne. Yeah, obviously back-to-back -back wins now. And Blues Friday, if they can make it three in a row. Do you feel like, you know, they've been threatening this for a few weeks with the draws and... Yeah, it's been picking up and I'm, I'm glad that we can do what we're doing and hopefully now we can move forward. And obviously we're just moving into flat positions and I haven't started days yet, but we'll keep going and we'll see what happens. Yeah, we just haven't uh, found the consistency as of late. Um, obviously, three draws before the two wins. Um, obviously, you know, we're trying to convert draws into wins and we're doing that now. But yeah, bring on Blues on Friday. I'm ready for it. And see where we go at St Andrews.